Hello and welcome to another video on my Bald Scrambler YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Daniel and today I am going on the 18 kilometre route that is Nantla Ridge. Now this route goes over six distinct summits as it's mostly a hiking route but there's a couple of little sections on there of some easy low grade scrambling for me to enjoy as well. So the purpose of this video is to just give you an idea, give you a taste of what this route is like. I'll put the drone up, I'll get the GoPro out and just give you an idea of what you can expect if you decide to come up on this route. Now this morning I parked in the Radi uh, train station car park, which costs six pounds for all day parking. I then crossed over the road from the train station and headed along the public right of way. Uh, at the fork I've taken a right and at the end of the public right away I've taken a sharp left and this path leads up quite obviously along a grassy slope towards the summit of Egan. Now I'm just making my way down from the second summit now for the life of me I cannot pronounce this so I'm going to put the name up on the screen now. Now there was a short burst of relatively easy uh, scrambling across somewhat rugged terrain between the first and second summits but apart from that I would say the vast majority of this route has been a hiking route rather than a scrambling route but as you've seen from the clips that I've shown you so far, the view up here is just absolutely incredible on all sides of the ridge. Uh, it really is a worthwhile adventure taking on uh, if the weather is on your side. Now I have a few more summits to make. We're going up onto this summit, across the ridge, and then along the other side, and then I'll be heading back. So today's route is a linear route there and back. I won't be going round in a, in a circle. Uh, I don't think there is a full circular a route on this scramble so I think linear there and back is probably the best option. Okay that's the third summit done grassy summit on the top there. I'm just going to make my way over to the obelisk which you can see here. So the terrain between the second and third summits was mostly grass and just dirt and a few little rocks. There wasn't really much scrambling uh, to mention in there. Pretty straightforward really.
So that was summit number four, an obelisk on the top. Two more to go. So I've made it to summit number five, which you can see behind me over my shoulder. Uh, that was probably the most tiring ascent of the entire route so far. And uh, now in front of me, I can see the path to the final summit, which is across a featureless grassy ridge, as you can see there. And then that'll be it. That'll be the halfway point. I'm doing a linear route, so I'll turn around and come back. So that's it, the summit behind me is called Garnet Goch. It's a little bit featureless up there. In fact, the entire path from summit number five onto the final one was just across a broad grassy ridge, best described as featureless really. Um, but it gave me a little bit of a break from all the steep hill walking that I've done today. So I'm just making my way back now. I'm gonna do the linear route back. So same route, but in reverse. Now it's taken me just under five hours to reach this, the end of the route, which obviously marks the halfway point, but I did stop quite often to fly the drone and set up the camera. Uh, so I've got a feeling I'm probably going to do this a lot quicker in reverse. I'm thinking I should be back at the car in about three hours from here. So uh, we'll see. But either way, it's definitely a long day out in the mountain. Now I would describe this as a hill walking route rather than a scrambling route but being precise here it was a little bit of scrambling in there not a lot just a few little sections interspersed here and there but to be honest you can pretty much bypass most of it if you're just careful and pick out the well-trodden line So I'm just making my way down Egan back to my car in the car park and I must admit after 18 nearly 18 kilometers my legs are definitely feeling a little bit tired so I'm going to get back to the campsite have a shower treat myself to a pot noodle I think I'm going to go and put my feet up and have an early night a little bit later on so I really hope that you've enjoyed this footage today um, if you have do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well now if you know this area better than I do and you know of a, a linking route or a circular route which could be you know part of this uh, ridge route do feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Look, thanks once again for watching. I'm going to leave it at that and say goodbye.